Hey everyone, this is Daryl from Crypto Daily Trade Series coming to you live, live from Bangkok, Thailand, guys. It's a great time to be live. It's Saturday morning here, and uh, we got lots to be talking about. You know, should you be selling? Is this the time to get out of crypto? Is this time to be, you know, sell everything and just walk away from crypto? Are you guys fed up? Have you guys had enough? So we're going to be talking about that. And you know we're seeing a lot of a lot of fud is being spread right now. A lot of people are talking about that. You know we're going to be going down. You know to like ten thousand uh, dollars, and and that crypto is over and all this contagion. Now you guys have to wake up and smell the coffee. Remember everything you see here is not financial advice, just an OG in the house. Is that you have to understand that fundamentally the market makers are now driving the price of cryptocurrency down because the market makers want to take out as much liquidity from the market. And you know guys and gals, you have to understand that you know one of the one of the reasons that we're seeing that crypto has gone down is because we had over six hundred million dollars worth of a long is liquidated, and you know that has caused a lot of downward selling pressure on cryptocurrency. So that is why we are seeing that cryptocurrency is going down right now. And then also too, that we're still we're still seeing a reaction from the Fed minutes. And remember, the Fed minutes were very hawkish, very you know very hawkish out there, and they're still talking about that there is going to be more rate hikes in September. So this has put a big uh, Debbie Downer on the market. We're seeing the broader markets are going down. We're seeing that crypto is going down. The other thing is that the DXY is absolutely going to go is going insane right now. And as the DXY goes up, what what happens is it causes crypto to go down. It causes Bitcoin to go down. When Bitcoin goes down, it drags the whole market down with that. So we're going to be looking at the fundamentals of that. And you can see right now that we're seeing that the whole crypto market is around about 8.2 percent pullback. And uh, you know basically we, we have nothing really good to to talk about except that uh, cryptos are going down. So a lot of people are thinking that it's time to sell and time to get out of crypto so i'm going to tell you what i'm doing what you should be doing and what we could see happening for the balance this weekend do go back and watch all my other videos i would appreciate it and if you haven't subscribed please go ahead and do so so let's take a look at the heat map so right now if you take a look at the heat map we're seeing everything is absolutely red it's just it's just a huge wash of red right now and uh you know we had this huge pump up until tuesday this is this is a natural pullback because what happened is uh you know we had a lot of people fomoing in over the weekend and we had we saw a lot of leverage uh, positions we're taking long positions of market makers have come in and taken all of that so basically right now the whales out there they actually want you to start to dump your uh, cryptocurrency they actually want you to dump and you know this is just part on part uh, parcel of the volatility of crypto markets and we've seen this time and time again so from my perspective I'm not selling anything in fact, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be picking up the dips, and I'm going to show you later. You got to watch this video to the end. I'm going to be showing you later that you know we could be seeing $100,000 still incoming, perhaps sometime in Q1 next year. So I'm still not worried about it, and I think this is an absolute great opportunity right now to buy things at the dip because I think that you know once we have this retest, and I think that we're going to be seeing that 21,000 is a good support level. I don't think we. I, I'm, I'm hoping you know there's a 60% probability that we're going to be going up from the 21 thousand level definitely a 41 40 percent probability we would be going down remember ta only works in the and the crypto markets are highly volatile they're highly manipulated and they're very unregulated so you guys have to understand that never invest more than you're willing to lose so that is the key that you guys understand that so right now we did see that yesterday we did see that the u.s markets basically dumped uh two percent for the nasdaq uh you know one percent for the dow jones so we're seeing uh, we're seeing fundamentally that you know, not only the broader markets, not only in crypto, we're seeing that you know there's a whole contagion across the whole market. We're seeing the European Union uh, inflation is uh, going crazy. They're increasing their rate, their rates. We're seeing you know Japan, uh, Canada, everything is just wacky. All the macroeconomic data is bad, and that is why we're seeing that the the markets are down. And this this whole downward trend is going to continue and continue. Uh, probably it's probably going to be continuing uh, like this, and probably till December. I don't think we're going to see a big. Uh, you know big major rally uh for until december so from that perspective you guys just have to buckle up you know i do believe that we're going to see a reversal for cryptocurrencies this weekend we're going to see a, a, a slight relief rally this weekend so if we take a look at the fear and greed right now the fear and greed is at 29 so it is it is it, it has absolutely slid down from where we were before so from that perspective there's nothing we can do about the fear and greed it, it is where it is and uh, you remember you've got to buy the fear absolutely buy the fear out there that is something that you have 
have to do something you need to be looking at and do, be, do, do the contrary of what uh, you know what the market makers are doing and definitely be buying the fear what really makes me concerned right now is we have this whole uh, you know the DXY the DXY is, is just it's just it's just climbing out of control we're at 107.845 and we're seeing that you know the US dollar is strengthening against the basket of currencies and this is dragging not only the crypto space down but it's dragging down all the broader markets so this is this is absolutely not good and uh, you know I don't think uh, and, and some people are speculating that we could see 120 uh, coming in very shortly for the DXY and that is going to put a lot of a lot of sell pressure on Bitcoin uh, and it's not looking good so if you take a look at Bitcoin on the daily right now you can see that Bitcoin has has collapsed from my upward trending support line that is now that has now become a huge resistance area for Bitcoin and you know what what do I see as the next target for Bitcoin well fundamentally I see that you know if we can't if we can't recover we could definitely be going down to uh, twenty thousand dollars so you know there's a good a good chance that we could be going down to twenty thousand dollars we also have some new resistance that just formed uh, at this level here so we have new resistance around about uh, 20 twenty one thousand two hundred that's also just become new resistance we're seeing a little a little bit of a relief rally not too much out there uh, a relief of a relief rally of around about one point five five percent so the thing is we still have this huge resistance right now at twenty one thousand two hundred and it, it, it's important that Bitcoin definitely does get above that if not then we're going to be seeing ourselves going down to twenty thousand so uh, that is not good uh, but you know from that perspective I still think this is a huge buying opportunity the last time we, the last time we saw these levels was way back uh, July 27th July so we have been here before and it's not been too long ago that we here before and we did we did rally guys we did rally and you can see here that every time every time we every time we collapse to the downside for Bitcoin we do have a nice pump to the upside uh, around about 14 uh, percent pump to the upside so you can see here that we we rallied again uh, you know when we had this downside we did rally all the way up we went up, uh, up around about 11 percent so from where we are right now we have gone down uh, from from this point here the high here and we've gone down around about 17 percent so from that perspective I expect that we could see a 14 percent rally to the upside and that would take us probably probably back up to around about 23,780 so I'm expecting a 23,780 target for next week if we recover if we recover and that depends on the market makers get ready for hunter wicks out there that could be pushing the Bitcoin price down so you know do not do not be do not be you know do not be worried do not be scared out there if we do in fact go down to 19,000 19,000 20,000 dollars it, it it could happen it will happen if we can't break past this uh, red line here we could definitely be seeing ourselves going down to 20,000 so you guys have to buckle up for that absolutely buckle up for that what else is coming in we're seeing that uh, also on the weekly right now uh, on the weekly time frame uh, Bitcoin is down 13 percent definitely we got one day and 22 hours left in this candle and uh, we're, we're we're definitely going to be closing this uh, this week in the red so it's not looking good there's a whole crypto market is looking really really awful right now but there is some light at the end of the tunnel you can see that old coins are correcting from oversold levels on the daily time frame within this ascending triangle a similar move was seen in 2019 so we are seeing that the 2019 fractals for old coins in 2022 are looking looking pretty similar from that perspective uh, and I, I I think that you know right now we're very much oversold there's, there's no doubt about that uh, but I believe that we're gonna have a reversal coming in uh, it's just a matter of time guys so old coin season is absolutely coming uh, when it's going to be coming and I, I think you know quite quite frankly I think we're going to see that the crypto markets are not going to take off until um, Q1 uh, next year so you know we're going to see a lot of chop a lot of sideways action a lot of people panicking a lot of frustration uh, you know this ain't financial advice but what I'm doing is every every time I see these big down trend down turns like we're having now with Bitcoin you know you can see the Bitcoin on the weekly as I just as I just told you is down uh, 13 uh, down over 13 percent so this is a good buying opportunity absolutely good buying opportunity uh, you know there's going to be a lot of shakeouts there's going to be a lot of a lot of a lot of sell-offs a lot of panicking but you know a diamond hands dollar cost average and, and and you know the strength and conviction in the market is going to take you to the top top side guys so, so don't panic guys absolutely don't panic this is also coming in looks like uh, Justin FDIC has sent a, a cease and desist order to FDX alleging it misleads its investors over deposit insurance so we'll see I have to see what that happens and and also, also just in South African Central Bank says local banks should not ban Bitcoin uh, and crypto users so it looks like South Africa is becoming crypto friendly and it's basically telling its bank it's okay it's okay to use Bitcoin so this is bullish guys absolutely bullish there's still a lot of bullish news out there but we're we're not seeing it because everybody's focused 
on the, you know the crypto contagion everything going down so this is from this is also coming a very clear leading uh, diagonal wave is in play time for blow off top wave uh, to 100,000 case so you can see that we have this diagonal wave that's happening here and this is called and this is basically following the Elliott waves and it looks like we could be seeing hundred thousand dollars coming in now this whole pattern will be invalidated if we drop if we drop down to 17,500 this whole pattern will be invalidated but it looks like right now we're around about this level uh, you know in part of the LA wave one wave one wave two uh, at the end of the C wave right now on on wave two and so we should be seeing ourselves going up pretty we should see ourselves getting a reversal you know and I think that this reversal is going to happen by Q1 next year and so from that perspective the long-term outlook for Bitcoin is still very positive long-term outlook for Dogecoin is also looking very good right now uh, it looks like also if you'll take a look at this the second test of 20 20 thousand uh, um, 20 thousand uh, 20 thousand five hundred twenty one K for support for the third test of the lower white trend line uh, falling below that might uh, might provide a capitulation whisk wick so it is important like I told you that we stay above the twenty thousand five hundred level at twenty one thousand if we if we do go below that we're going to capitulate and there's no telling how low we could go we could see ourselves going down to you know fourteen thousand twelve thousand but I think that you know from my perspective I do believe that the twenty one thousand dollar level is going to hold guys I think we're going to hold at those levels and you know I think we're going to have a bit of a, a bit of a reversal this weekend uh, not not a, not a big reversal but a slight reversal of the upside let's take a look what's going on with Doge right now Dogecoin is doing very well it's still uh, you know our zero six eight support line is still holding true uh, you know Doge has given up a lot of gains uh, since uh, last week uh, you know we've we've gone down almost almost twenty four percent since uh, since um, since Tuesday so Doge is, Doge has definitely given up most of its gains so that's pretty depressing for the Doge but I'm still doubling down on the Doge doubling down on the Doge you should be doubling down and uh, I'm going to be buying more Doge because this is a great opportunity because you know if you buy in now and it ret and it uh, retraces back to its uh, levels where it was uh, only on t on uh, Tuesday you're going to see a 32 percent pump guys so that is that is a good opportunity to buy in right now so that's why I'm doubling down a lot of people have been calling me oh why are you saying double down the market's going down yeah you definitely want to be doubling down because from here to here it's 32 percent so if you buy here uh, at 069 and you sell at the top and run about nine cents that's a 32 percent pump so even if you just you know you, you you buy now and sell your doge at nine cents that's a 32 percent uh, increase so from that perspective that why wouldn't you want to be doubling down and if you if you've been holding doge for a long time and this is also a good uh, chance to DCA and bring down the dollar cost average of, of your doge guys so once again guys don't forget to get your crypto off a lending platforms get them off centralized exchanges and get your freaking crypto on an ledger guys my affiliate links down there guys check it check it out uh, also if you take a look at Shibi Weeby right now Shibi Weeby is also coming back we're seeing a little bit of a relief rally right now and it's up about 1.82 percent and we're still at 13 remember remember last week guys we were we were we were at 12 we're at 12 we've all we, we're better than we were last week so that's not too bad guys absolutely not too bad uh, from that perspective but also once again the Shibi Ibu, Shibi Shibi Weeby is also giving up about 30 percent uh, of its gains from from last week as well and not from last week from Tuesday so from that perspective I would be doubling down on Shiba Inu buy now hold this name final price is what I'm going to be doing buy now wait and sell at the top and that's going to be approximately well let's measure it uh, you buy now at this level and you sell here that's a 32 percent increase so it's exactly the same as doge so you you could be doubling down and then for bitcoin of course dca hold dca hold ethereum dca hold as well let's take a look what's going on with ethereum right now ethereum as well is showing a little bit of a relief rally not too much out there we're seeing approximately a relief rally for Ethereum around 1.29%. So we are seeing a little bit of a comeback, a little bit of a reversal, but not too much. You know, one of the big reasons that we saw the markets going down is because we had, you know, we had all of this, uh, these long positions were liquidated. That was about $562 million worth of longs that liquidated. So that that kind of created a long squeeze. And that is what is pushing the crypto markets out. That is what is causing Bitcoin to collapse. Uh, but also remember the whales are manipulating the market are pushing down Bitcoin. Remember, they sold at the top. They did sell at the top, uh, and now they pushed it down. Now they're going to uh, buy at the bottoms, and they're going to do the same thing again. They're going to liquidate. Uh, you know, when we see Bitcoin go up about two, two and a half k, they're going to liquidate again. So we're going to see this seesaw pattern. We are seeing, uh, you know, we're seeing lower highs right now uh, for the Bitcoin pattern. So from that perspective, it's not the end of the world. Do not sell. Never sell at a loss. Diversification is absolutely key. Let's take a look at total market cap right now. So total market cap is, is dropped uh, from zero point uh, one point zero five to. 
1.04. The volumes are at 64.90, and the Bitcoin dollars is still dropping. So that's okay from that perspective. But if you take a look at the total, uh, the, you know, the, the carnage out there. It's complete bedlam out there. You know, there's blood in the street. But, you know, buy the fear when there's blood in the street. This is the best time to be buying. And, you know, you, there's a lot of opportunities. Like, you can, you we're still buying uh, Ethereum under 2000 Who wouldn't want to buy Ethereum under 2000 We're seeing that, you know, Bitcoin right now is at 21179 Who wouldn't we want wanting to buy uh, Bitcoin at these prices? It's a great time to be alive. We're seeing uh, ADA is getting slaughtered out there. Solana is down. Dai is down. Uh, Bic, uh, Dogecoin is down. But we're still up over the month. So that's not too bad. Shiba Inu is uh, Shiba Inu's up slightly today, 2.83%. So that's looking good. But there's a lot of a lot of good opportunities. A lot of good opportunities. You know, the top 50 projects are still on sale. Buy the dips. Buy the dips. Load up and uh, stack the sats, guys. So that's going to bring this video to a close, guys and gals. Please go and, um, you know, follow me on my Twitter, guys. Absolutely follow, follow, follow me on my Twitter. Let's see if we can get this to 4,645 followers. Uh, that would appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to go smash the likes, subscribe, YB, and show some love guys don't forget to uh, check out the links guys we've got the dogecoin tippy jar uh here and uh also you know the now ledger link is here so i'll see you guys later i'm not feeling too good today so if, if the if i sound a little bit off it's because i'm not feeling so good so sorry about that the energy level is down uh but i'll see you in the next one hopefully i'll be feeling better and uh don't forget to get the merch guys i just want to say to everybody out there this is not the time to be panicking. This is not the time to be capitulation, capitulating. This is not the time to be panic selling. Just hold the course, never sell a loss. This is absolutely, if you got dry powder, it's a good time to be buying the dips. Pick up some more. Uh, and, you know, we could see more downside. We absolutely could see more downside. But I think we'll have a, a very small relief rally uh, this weekend. I don't think we're going to be seeing like, you know, 8%, 5%. We may see a 1% to 2% rise uh, and then maybe go flatline uh, Monday. Uh, Monday uh, Thursday, you might get a reversal uh, to the upside. Uh, but that also de uh, depends on, you know, the macroeconomic data that's coming out as well. So, guys, just be patient. Uh, this is a downturn. Uh, you know, we're having a little a little bit of kind of a relief rally uh we could continue to be going down again uh after that uh next week so just have to hold hold the fort wait for life-changing wealth uh q1 next year we'll we'll see things getting better guys so be well be absolutely well out there see you next one peace out